Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, today I'm going to be going over how to make roto turrets. And the reason I'm going to discuss roto turrets is I want to go over the new Diamond Dome defense script that Alicia's has put out. Um, but a lot of this requires, requires missiles and roto turrets. And I just want to make sure we can build a roto turret before we go into the script. Now, the cool thing about roto turrets is not only can the Diamond Dome defense uh, run them, but Whiplash has several uh, scripts for him. Uh, he has a mouse aim turret that you can make. He's also got the turret a uh, slaving script where you can slave several turrets to uh, one little gun. And they, they're pretty cool. And you can put like whatever weapons you want on them. Uh, you can use modded weapons. Uh, so you just, you're not just limited to what you can do. The only downside is you cannot have somebody controlling a roto turret while you are flying your ship. There's a space engineer c code issue. I wish they would fix it, but we can't. So anyways, let's get started. So what's a rotor turret? A rotor turret is basically any turret, so... A turret, right? That's a turret. But it's built on rotors. You got a base, or azimuth. And you got elevation rotors. And this is controlled by remote block, controlled by scripts. Uh, well, they're all controlled by scripts, but the uh, remote block and such, depending on what the script requires. The trick to do this is on each side, merging them, them together in the one big piece in the middle because they're considered two separate scripts, which I'll show you how to do that. Um, Advantages to this is you could put any weapon you want on it, or you could put a bunch of weapons on it. As you can see, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Gatling turrets on this one. I could put a ninth one in the middle if I wanted to. I could put a couple of rocket pods on this if I wanted to, reloadable rockets. Um, some limitations is if you're trying to build this in survival, it can be difficult because, once again, projectors cannot print subgrids. So... If you got the rotor on a ship, it'll print the rotor, but it won't print the top the top section. So then you'll have to put another projector in, probably to, pro to project the middle area, and then you may have to project the top area too. If you're only building one turret in survival, it's not that big a deal. If you're building a bunch, it could be time consuming. And then if they get destroyed, you gotta go back and rebuild them all again. Create a mode, you can just copy and paste. Um, what else? Well, that's about it. The downside is, um, like I said before, you can only have one person controlling the ship. This is part of the ship. So if you and a buddy are playing, you can be flying a ship, but he cannot be controlling the rotor turrets because it's part of the subgrid. That is where whip script comes in. Um, the turret slaving script which you can slave roto turrets to AI turrets. So if you were to move this turret around and aim it, the roto turrets would be slaved to this script. And they whatever this shoots at, the roto turrets will shoot at. Boom, that's a way around it. So how do we build a roto turret? Well, there's two ways. The easy way is n not to have two arms coming up. And what, I'm, what I mean by that is this. So let's make a base first. Okay, this is our base. Now I want to make the top section, the weapons itself, out of small grid. Depending on what you want to do in your design, you can make it out of, out of large grid blocks. But I'm going to make it out of small grid blocks. So, let's come in here. Rotor. And a small head. Now pretty much every script I see says to call this azimuth. So we're going to call that azimuth. From there we're going we're gonna to build a next section. Now here's, here's where it can get easier or get hard. You do not need two elevation rotors. You only need one. 
depending on your design, you can put two on there like this one. But that gets a little more difficult. So let's just for simplicity's sakes, make it look ugly. Right? Boom. There's a rotor turret. On the end, you would put whatever whatever you need. You can put cameras on here. You can put your weapons on here. You can put your remote control blocks on here. Whatever the script requires. Now, the reason that's the easy one is just come up and put another rotor on there. Boom, you're done. But what if I don't want this? What if I want two elevation rotors? Like this. Well, this is where it gets tricky. So, let's delete all this. Uh, now, and once again, I'm just slapping this on here for, for time constraints for the video. Whenever you build your own, you can make it look as pretty as you want. Okay, so, rotor turrets. Elevation, elevation, so, zero. Zero. Okay, we need to control both of these, but the trick is knowing which one's which. Now, if you're an experienced player, you know, okay, the first one I'll place down, the second one I'll place down. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to need one, uh, color one red, and I'm going to color one blue. So number two would be red, number three would be blue. Let's go in the back of my old color here. Uh, whatever. So, you need to connect both of these together. The problem is, watch. If I run it over, bam, they don't want to connect together because they're two separate grids. So how can you do this? Well, you use a merge block. So, Let's see if I get this right here. I want to. So, merge block, right? I saw the merge block would go right about there. That's good. It will need to come over. What is that? One over two spaces. Okay. So, number red. Uh, let's set a upper limit here of 90. Does that spin the right way? I don't know. Yep, this spins the right way. Now see how it pulls it down and out of the way here. Now when it comes back up, back to where it was, zero. So here's what happens. Which actually may not work out. I think they're going to collide. Yeah, the blocks may collide with each other. So let's do it this way. Now what we want to do is just pull this one back up and just keep maneuvering the blocks until they attach. So watch this. Come back to red, hit reverse. Okay, so nowhere near close enough, right? So it's gonna come up one and in, is that four blocks? So let's take this off. Will be used. So I gotta add one more and then the merge block. So let's pull red back out of the way. Pull red back up. Boom, they're connected. 
So what it basically, once again, what I did, I just moved one side out of the way with a merge block, put your merge block on the other one, brought it back up, connect them, connected them together. Attach them in the middle, and that's it. You're done. Now that you're attached between both merges or both rotors, it is very important that you do not disconnect them. If you disconnect them, you got to do the whole process all over again. It's relatively easy and creative because you can just point and click. Survival, we got to grind it down, wall it up, yada, yada, yada. From here, you just build whatever you want to build. Weapons, cameras, however you see your rotor turret looking, it's your personal design. And that's, that's about it. That's a rotor turret. Now, watch. Boom. See? Can't put it back together. Um, from here, I mean, like, what do you want to do? It's your choice. For the Diamond Dome Defense Script, Diamond Dome Defense has an auto reload capabilities. So if you put connectors on like I did, so I put an advanced rotor, a connector, and then I have this leveled up far enough so this turret can swing down. The script will automatically, when, the, when these Gatling turrets run out of ammunition, it will swing us down, connect connectors together, transfer the ammunition over, and then go back to shooting all by itself. Uh, Whiplash scripts, the turret control scripts, they don't need, his doesn't do that. So they're, they're more or less uh, loading them by loading them up by hand. It doesn't mean you have to do it that way. You can uh, put an advanced rotor here, run conveyor tubes over up with another advanced rotor, and they will automatically reload that way. But it's a little harder and a little bigger to build because, well, that's a big, big rotor. So it's all your choice. It all depends on how you build your rotors. But the basic concept is the same. Pass move up elevation. And that's all you got to do. Your, your, your weapon, your arms, your base. It can be however you want to build it. But yeah, this is your uh, rotor turret. Um, next episode, I'm gonna, going to start going into the Diamond Dome defense system. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And, well, you have a good day. Bye, folks.